Hello everybody, Postorus Rex here with Ucraft. We're back on the Ucraft server. And I'm draining my XP. Why am I doing that? Well, because we are working on some big reactor stuff. And, and I would like a bucket of this stuff. Hmm. I thought I could pick it up in a bucket. Maybe we have to wait for it to be full. Hmm. How do we get it out of there? I guess maybe we can just break it. Yeah, there we go. Bring it over to here. You empty. Into there. So we're working on upgrading our big reactor. And for that, we want to get some cryothium. So I'm going to use the XP that I have built up. Oh, I guess I can take it out in bucket form then. Okay, uh, <laughs> snowballs in there and change this to fill. And this, oh, very slowly it'll work. Oh, well, that's all right. That's slow. Let's see. We need some upgrades in order to do that. How about, can I put a bucket in? I can put a bucket in, but I, oh, I have to shift, shift click. I see. Anyways, this will get us started on some blizz powder, as we'll see in a second here. Yeah, there we go. Blizz powder, sleep. We're going to use that with some redstone in order to create uh, cryothium dust, redstone and more snowballs. But here, you can see I've started, started to build this. There's a weird block there. Break and replace. Yeah, when in doubt, break and replace. So we're going to take this little guy here. We're going to upsize him here. And this way we can run some cryothium in the sides here just to help cool this a little better. But as for now, we're still using this, so we're not going to break it yet. And what are we using it for? Well, to make more of it. Go here. Make the rest of those guys. This should be more than enough. We might even bring it down. What are these? Yeah, these guys don't even require it. We're also going to make at least a stack of that stuff. That way we can make the sides out of glass and the sides will look nice. All right, now that we got some of this blizz powder, we're going to we're going to get some augments for that and upgrade that. Let's grab. Yeah, we need some more redstone. And here, put a couple of those, some snowballs, some redstone. We'll get some cryothium dust, which we can take over here to a magma crucible. Fire it up and it'll turn. So four of these will turn into one bucket of cryothium which should just flow into this fluid tank. Yeah, just like that. We've got some jellied cryothium. Perfect. This is going to take a while, but especially this process here. So we will need some upgrade kits. Alrighty, so we have built a reactor at what 11 by 11 by 5 tall so still got our three here which is fine we might add another access port just to automatically eject waste but for what i'm doing it doesn't really matter 
But what I am doing is standing here in front of it with some gravel and some sieves, sieves, and I'm trying to get me some platinum. Platinum, there we go. And I believe this is sort of the easiest way to get it early game. There is platinum ore, but it's really difficult to find. So, I'm just going to run this through some diamond meshes here. And hopefully we get a bunch of these platinum ore chunks, because we're going to need platinum to make enderium, which we're going to put in sort of this front one. So what we've done is filled up these two rows with gelid cryothium, and then we're going to fill up this outer one with enderium, liquid enderium. And that's sort of the best way to, the most efficient way without making vapor of levitivity, which just causes a bunch of lag. Um, we could go find that in the end, but Enderium just is a little better for the server, so we're going to go with that. Wow, that guy shot way over there. Oh. Maybe it's because I can't pick these guys up. Um, let's go like so. All right, guys, I lied. We don't actually want Enderium. We want Resin and Ender. Um, so, going to make another tank here for it. But we went to the end, picked up some Ender Pearls and some of this Resin and End Stone. Oh, and also an Ender Lily which we can use to make our own ender pearls. But the best way to get a resonant ender is with this end stone silk touch pickaxe in the end. You get a bucket per block. So super easy. Throw this here, it'll fill up. And we can use that to fill up the rest of our reactor. All right, so what we're going to do down here is we're going to fill up the front or the outside of these with the resonant ender. So let's clear off the snow, and then take this off here, yeah. Like so, place it down, pick up a bucket, and I really don't want to touch the gelid cryothium, because that stuff does a lot of damage. So, good thing I have the telekinetic reach thing on my armor, so we can reach right down there, and we will fill all of this up. The gel cryothium will just stay there, and yeah, this will help us just produce more power for each, for each, um, I don't know, eulorium. It'll just help the reactor produce more RF. And just like that, we have resonant ender on all four sides of our reactor here. It's producing RF. Uh, I think it's producing more. What do we have? We have it set to 65. Uh, I guess we didn't do a test beforehand, but we're just going to have to trust that that's producing more because I'm pretty sure it is. But anyways, that's all good. It all went in nice and good. We can come over here, grab some end stone because we have this ender lily. Let's bring it down Yeah, here and through here. We set up two more of these cloches. Yeah, I looked up how to pronounce the word. And if we throw it in there, it might grow. Um, so yeah, we might be able to produce our own ender pearls. We're out of power. But in here we have some uranium essence, which we're using to power our reactor. Got some mushrooms. Bunch of mushrooms for... I don't really remember... Oh, right, right, for the pizza. <laughs> that way we can make our own pizzas. And then the two sulfur seeds, which I think two is enough to cover for our ore processing. Uh, I think it's keeping up so far. Let's see. This here. Change that over. That way we don't run out of hydrogen. Yeah, we're out of hydrogen. Anyways, this is producing a lot. Um, looks like we need more power, so might have to go turn up the reactor. 
But this guy's going pretty well. We're almost done here. That's looking awesome. All right, so I did notice this out of the corner of my eye. We've got uh, a new window here. I totally didn't break the glass and put it on the floor. I'm sorry, but I didn't find the player responsible for the window, but I found that the window was not properly built. I fixed it. Uh, after some investigation, I found some evidence that says... The pilot of the spaceship Connie 2 is the culprit, but he is, but, uh, but sadly he is dead and he is buried at coordinates. Poor thing, hee <laughs> hee, and that's all. Well, I mean, it looks good. Ooh, look at that. Great service from the uh, assassin shop. You even get to keep your diamond block back. So let's go see if we can find these. Positive Z is this way. Yeah, that's where I want to go. And negative X. So off in that direction. Let's, yeah, let's just type this here. That way we don't lose it. And get rid of this. Travel off this way. Somewhere over here, there's, oh, I think this is Clueless Slime's base, big spaceship, maybe that's a spaceship. Uh, 819, yeah, 760, and this way, to 819, let's fly over, um, back, and somewhere around here. Oh, what's this? Here lies Connie too, a great friend and family member. <laughs> Poor guy. Let's see. And in here, yo, know, that must be the uh, corpse of Connie too. Let's put that back. Some nice candles here. Nice little grave site. Awesome. But that is going to do it for us today. Thanks, you guys, for checking it out. As always, you can join UCraft and you can support UCraft. Both those links are down in the description, so make sure to check those out. Uh, I'm having fun here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, you can like, comment, subscribe for some more. But I will see you guys in the next episode.